Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's demo, I will show you that uh, how to use uh, sum and average function. And I think you uh, uh, would be aware about this function, but in this function, we are going to uh, complete these tasks using record macros option. Right, so I have this is a my part two series. Uh, so if you have not seen my previous video regarding uh, recording macro so in that video I have shown you something like uh, just uh, uh, filter some data and add another sheet and paste the data uh, filter data in that sheet so if you have not seen that so please watch that video as well so in this particular video I'm going to show you that how to record some and average function using record uh, record functionality of the like in macro and you can just uh, assign a button to that uh, coding and then instantly you can get the values using pressing like if you will just hit that uh, button right so one more thing i want to tell you that if you are learning excel and vba and macros so recording can give you some uh, uh, like edge it can give you some benefit but it is not going to happen that end-to-end -end automation you can do using macros. You should have the knowledge of the coding. But uh, if you are new, so, so you can use the recording functionality. Once you will be familiar with it, then you can just uh, jump onto the VBA and you can just learn the code. And even in recording macro, you can just check that code and how the code is, v code is just written in the VBA editor and how it is functioning. So you can also just uh, see it right so now we will go to our example so you can see that we have I have just posted so pasted some random data over here so what we have to do is uh, you hear that we need to just get the sum of these values in this cell and in all these cells right and average in in all in these cells so first of all what do we need to do in order to record macro so we have multiple option to record macro so one is like in previous video if you have seen that so I have just clicked on this button and then recording macro button uh, uh, recording macro wizard will open front of me then I have recorded the steps using recording functionality but I will show you another uh, method to record macro so this is called ribbon and if you see this ribbon we have view tab over here if you will click on the view tab in the corner you can see that macro option over here if you will drop click here in draw in this drop down then you will see here record macro option over here right and if you will hover your mouse uh, here like uh, you can see the screen tip okay okay it is not showing now okay, okay. so you can read the uh, excel uh, this uh, tip as well recording a macro each of the command you perform will be saved into the macro so that you can play them back again it means whatever things once you will record macro if you will click here and there anywhere then everything will be recorded in the macro so we need to be very specific when we are recording our macro we should not we are not supposed to click we can if you will click here and there the, all the steps will be automatically record will be just uh, recorded in the vbi editor so whenever we are just recording anything then we should have some space we always need to be very specific like in which cells we need to just click and uh, where we need to just drag the formula and all, all these things right so in this uh, video I will show you that how to do that so let's take an example we need to get the sum of this range so we need to write here s u m sum function I think you would be aware about it it's a very easy function so type here sum and click here then you will get the sum values we need to drag it like this and if we now want to uh, know the average of this value the range then we simply can select this range open bracket close bracket then you can see this is the average of this range right same this say these two the steps whatever I have doing right now so we have to follow the in the same manner right so I will go to the view rib, uh, view uh, option then I will go to the record macro option then I will click on the 
record macro button so you can see th that by default name is coming like macro 3 so I can just give it my customized name I will give it like some average underscore average and uh, I will click here and if you want to just add any description you can add here click OK then click here and type here SUM sum select this range close bracket and drag it like this then click here then uh, type here like uh, average because we want to get the average of this range select this range close bracket and and then drag it like this and then click here and if you want to just uh, stop recording then click here and then you can click here as well and you can click here as well in view tab go to the macro option then click stop recording once you will stop recording then whatever the steps we have just followed over here everything has been recorded in the background so I will delete all the data I will go to the insert and I will use any shape in order to assign macro in that shape this is the shape and I can change the formatting as well right click here then you will see this assign macro option then this is the macro which I have recorded as you also aware about it sum and average click OK and if you give the name of this button you can give it like uh, sum and average right and then once I will click here then you can see all the values are populating here I will delete it again click here you can see the values over here so as I uh, already told you that it is not possible that we will automate everything using recording function uh, recording function or recording option of Excel but uh, some of the tasks we can automate so in upcoming videos I will upload some more videos regarding uh, recording functionality and after that uh, I will just show you that uh, how to create these codes manually so it is a very easy codes basically if you will just follow the, all the steps one by one right so if you are new to Excel and if you want to learn Excel and VBA then you can follow these steps and you can create same kind of data and the whatever the action I have followed here you can just do the same like that and you can just create small small macros right so I hope you would like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.